Next year, I just want us all as Nigerians to be a little bit more smarter. So this video is about the precepts or better yet, the beliefs of Nigerians that they have and how they are wrong. A wise man once told me, if you're not a part of the solution, then you are part of the problem. Let's get started. I don't even know if precept is the right word. I was thinking precept or belief or stigmas. I, I don't know what the right word is. It's I haven't taken the SAT in like three years. Nigerian parents seem to believe that Africans and black people are not exactly the same. You guys, you are all black. I know there's a difference culturally and you know, there's, you know, they're American and then we're African. I know there's a cultural difference, but I just want you guys to understand if we are all in a church and a person that does not like black people comes up with an AK and starts shooting everyone that is black to them, Nigerians, you will be shot too. Because you, they can't tell what part of, what type of black, what type of African you are just from your skin color. That being said, we should not be so prejudiced against black people. We are black. Don't try and separate your children from the, the label black because they are black. We are all black. And another thing I just recently heard, Nigerian jollof rice versus Ghanaian jollof rice. Why does it matter? Okay, first of all, I want you guys to realize that jollof is a tribe and my friend just told me that it's a tribe in Gambia or Senegal and they made the rice. They called jollof rice rice because they made it. So while you guys are being picky and having all this pride in your Nigerian rice, notice that you are not original. This rice did not come from you guys, okay? It is from the Gambians and you don't say them saying, oh, our rice is the most realist so you gotta just stop saying that because, because they're not petty. They they're not stupid. They're not bigoted like you guys are having these nonsense debates like what? Like who cares? It's food. It's cholesterol. It's gonna clog your arteries anyways. And I just don't like it when you guys base your opinions off of nothing. Most of you probably have never even tried Ghanaian rice, okay? Or most of you have never even tried Nigerian rice. So please don't knock it until you try it. This is not rocket science. Another thing about science, Nigerians tend to believe that being a doctor or being in the medical school or anything that has to do with medicine is the only way to make money. Do you own a television set? Do you know what music is? There are so many ways to make money in this country and being a doctor isn't just the only way. Look at your shoes right now, who made them? Look at the businesses all around you, the small businesses, there's so many different, look at the stores around you, you guys. Where do you shop for fufu? Where do you shop for clothes? In fact, if you're in America, you need to have many side hustles. Okay, if you're a doctor, fine, that's great, but that's, that shouldn't be the only source of income you have, actually. You guys like to braid? How about you start braiding people's hair? You need to quash those Nigerian beliefs that only one job and that one job being in the medical field is the only way to make money because it is not. I mean, just look at Genevieve, Van Vicker, Jackie Apiaming, whatever her last name is, I don't know. These people are probably not even Nigerian, but they're still making money. They're making a living off of doing what they love. I'm pretty sure these actors also do other things on the side, like model, that's more money. And people are giving them money to represent their country, their companies. I mean, it's different if you actually want to do something medically related. It's different if you actually want to do that. But if you don't, then, then by all means, don't. This is your life. And the only one stopping you from chasing your dreams is you at the end of the day. Okay, it could be your parents that, yeah, my parents stopped me from my dream. If you're afraid, if you are afraid, fear is mental. It is totally mental. If you work hard at the thing that you love to do and you are the best at it, then money will come. That's how doctors do it. They're the best at what they do, apparently. Probably not because a lot of them, I bet, cheated in medical school, but that doesn't matter. They are the best at what they do, so they're making money because they are the best. All you gotta do is be the best and work as hard as a doctor would to get their degree. Another belief, parents. Just because you're African doesn't mean I'm not American. Okay, when you brought us into this country, you are understanding that you're bringing us into a different country with different culturals, cultures, different beliefs, different opinions, all that stuff. Yes, we're gonna get better education, probably gonna have more food, probably gonna have lights all the time, even though I don't, because the bill's not always paid, but we're probably gonna have better opportunities. 
but the trade-off is you're exposing us to a whole different set of beliefs. Now you have to cope with that. These very, very archaic ideas that Nigerians used to have in the village is not going to work here because we are not in the village. Okay, you came to America and you know that America has one of the highest rates of teenage pregnancy. What do you do? You tell your daughter not to have a boyfriend? That's not going to work. I'm just being honest with you, that's not going to work. Locking your daughter up is not gonna work because she's going to find ways to sneak out. Telling your sons that they are not black, they are African, it's not gonna work. They're a little racist or if they wanna handle a certain color, a different type of way, and that color meaning black, they'll handle your son just like a black person would because you guys are black. You have to cope with it. You have to come to an agreement with your child. They're experiencing two different cultures and those ones are going to intermingle and cause conflicts and all that. You have to mend these two together. It's just not healthy to block out everything. If you really want to instill that culture within your child then you're gonna have to make sacrifices because they're dealing with another culture too because they are in America and they'll be socially awkward socially unaccepted if you just pretend that they're still in Nigeria because they're not you guys have to build negotiation you have to make things work you have to mend you have to mix you have to blend you trust your child so they can trust you they continue to indulge in the culture that you want them to indulge in so I think my battery's about to die soon but one more thing I want to say you can't say African parties, can't say African girls, can't say African food, and then still get mad at people for saying, do you speak African? Because you're doing exactly what they're doing. So please be specific. Say Nigerian party, Nigerian food, Nigerian girls, blah, 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 blah. Of course, you're still going to say, do you still speak Nigerian? But it's a lot better than saying, do you still speak African? And I think I have to go because my body's about to die. Bye, bye. Thank you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful semester of college. I think, I hope you guys all get A's. I'm pretty sure you guys did, but thank you for watching. Bye. I love you. That was slick suspect. It says my purpose in life. You know, I have money to make. I was talking to this one girl. Thing is, she was drunk and talking to me and she was younger than me. I'm like, oh, poor gay, where are your parents? Don't be a statue. That's how bad I am in Spain. How do you say parents?